Hey you guys doing? This is Real Sun COG. Today we're here with Josh Heinrichs. How you doing, my brother? Good. How are you guys? Great. Thank you so much for coming out. Yeah, thanks for First me. off, just want to give a big shout out to our sponsors, Puff Sauce, Red Feathers Farms, keeping us all elevated out here. You already know. Give thanks. Thank you so much for coming down. Really appreciate you. Yeah. How'd you get your uh, start in playing music? Uh, my dad uh, was a musician and uh, been around it my whole life. That's awesome. Yeah. So I uh, just was always inspired as a kid, watching him play live shows, and just always, like, really wanted to do that. <laughs> just spreading the music. Yeah. Just spreading the jaw works. It's amazing. Um, when, did you, when did you first realize you wanted to pursue reggae music? Um, reggae was uh, in my, like, later teenage years. <laughs> um, in my teenage years, I really got into, like, uh, Rage Against the Machine and um, politics and, you know, what kind of what reggae is about and uh didn't even know about reggae I'd always heard about Bob Marley and stuff and um I was also into soul music and stuff too like Otis Redding and everything and the oldies and uh anyways I liked Rage Against the Machine's message like a lot and everything and I always liked le looked for music like that like Tool you know and stuff like that but uh like in soul <laughs> and, but uh so when i heard reggae i was uh, instantly it was just like whoa this is everything i've been looking for right here and it just Connected. hit me yeah that's awesome so which artists do you think have inspired you to create music more in the reggae genre um i mean i hate to be cliche but you know bob marley is uh, it's it's not cliche because it's the truth and yep. it's if you if you dive into Bob Marley, I think anybody that dives in really starts to understand like, oh, okay, this is it's more than just surface level. Exactly. What people like, you know, even the yeah. surface level is beautiful. That's enough to get your claws in. You know what I'm saying? And yep. make you dig, hopefully. <laughs> but um, all that old school stuff was really what I started out on. Mighty Diamonds, what you're just playing earlier. Yeah, yeah. Um, Mighty Diamonds. All that uh, harmony stuff and just roots. You know, a lot of roots. Uh, Aswa, Steel Pulse. I was I, yes. I I bought every single Steel Pulse album, every one. Yes, <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. When I was like 19, <laughs> 20, I was like done. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, who would you say would be your dream feature and why? Um. Gosh, I don't know, man. I think I've I've gotten to work with a lot of my uh, legend or legend uh, people in my book that are legends. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That I always wanted to work with. Uh, Twenty years later, so I've been really fortunate and happy to do that. Um, uh, uh you know, gosh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, there's man. Too many people. <laughs> yeah, there is too many. There's too uh, all the all the uh, old old school guys. I would love to do any songs with you know that are still around, but. Um, like I said, like I, I got to do uh, have Aston Barrett play bass on one of my songs on one that's of my awesome. albums, and I named I named my son after that guy, man. Yeah. So, that's, I mean, that's that's about as top as it gets for yeah. my book. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, man. There you go. That's that's really cool to hear right there. Um, can you explain the creative process behind your newest self-titled album? Yeah, um, COVID. Just <laughs> to be honest, you know, I just uh, was stuck at home, and um, we all were, and I uh, just buckled down and uh, bought myself a little studio to do my vocals and my uh, writing partner and producer who's done uh, my Josh Heinrichs and Friends album, my Good Vibes album, and uh, now did this album. He lives in Kansas City. He's from a band called 77 Jefferson. His name is Miles Brown, and uh, he is the man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he just, uh, we just, he just sent me some uh, stuff and we went back and forth for the last year, just mixing it all down and getting it ready and yeah, lots of ideas when you're sitting at home going inward. <laughs> it's awesome. You guys thank go you. check it out on all digital platforms. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Uh, how would you describe your music to someone who's never heard it before? Um, soulful, um, reggae, you know, uh, roots, maybe uh, a little uh, pop sometimes. But I, I try and just, you know. I don't know. It's it's a little bit different, I would say, too, because I always listen to everybody else's reggae, and then I listen to mine, and I'm like, this is something different. <laughs> but I don't know. I love it. That's yeah, good, it's Missouri. <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool, different, like, fusion, you know, like that no one's ever heard before. Yeah, I thank you. It. My uh, uncle was in a band called the Ozark Mountain Daredevils. I don't know if you guys ever heard of them, but they were like a 70s band, and uh, they're like rock band, and my dad was in a rock band, and like I said, my whole family's just been involved in music, so I think that side kind of comes into even if i'm trying to play roots reggae somewhere it's yeah. in the back of my head exactly. yeah <laughs> still have that missouri rock in there yeah, yep. yeah. 
So what would you say is your favorite Josh Heinrichs tune to play live? Live? Um, it used to be uh, Good Vibes, but then we played it about 10,000 times. So <laughs> I was like, A little uh, tired of it now. Yeah, so I'm not <laughs> tired of it. It's just, it doesn't have it's the... It's a classic. Yeah. You know, that new song feeling. Um, we just played uh, last night some new songs from the new album and that sounded that felt so good to me and um feels good that's that's funny love that one yeah uh, that that was really good and then uh, another one that we played was a uh, holiday that we played last night and i was feeling it yes so. uh, yeah. it's cool that's awesome oh yeah yeah i love those tunes for sure that album came out great make sure you guys go check it out for sure all digital outlets you already know so how do you think playing reggae music for over 20 years now has helped shape you as a musician um well, especially reggae, you know, just in my outlook on life, trying to be positive, trying to have a good outlook, you know, but as well, um, keeping my eyes open. I just always, you know, try and be involved in everything. I think uh, having um, children has also really, uh, reggae has shaped how I want to raise my kids and yep. show them the right way and show them, you know, as far as, you know, what I think is. Yes, right. <laughs> you yeah, know? what's right from wrong. Yeah, exactly. And Teach I think reggae does a, a beautiful job of that. Yep, yeah. definitely. Yeah, that's a great message for sure. Definitely teach the youth, inspire the new generations every time, you know? Yeah. That's what reggae music's all about, yeah. you know, and fighting the Babylon system. Yeah, man. <laughs> so yeah. what are some things you like to do when you're not making music? Um, I'm, I love marijuana. It's like my number one thing. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's what I do, man. I, I just like to sit back and blaze and relax and hang out with my wife and my kids. And uh, we, we, we go kayaking and... Uh, Shit, bro, I'm an old man now. I'm 40, so no, not really, but <laughs> I do old old stuff, just like hang out and chill and watch TV and write songs and there you go. smoke, Living man. The good life. Yeah, I try and relax as much as possible, not be stressed. There's yeah, too much stress right, already right. in the world. No stress and just vibing. <laughs> um, what kind of advice would you give to an aspiring musician? Um, I think uh, keeping it all to yourself is uh, the number one advice that I have for anybody. I just had this talk with a random stranger the other day and uh, blew his mind. Um, <laughs> just with just with the facts that, uh, like, um, as simple as bands when they start out, they're like, we want to get a record deal. We want to get signed. We want to be huge. And um, it's as simple as uh, that is a loan. You know, when you get a record deal, it's a loan from a, from a company that has a lot more money than you. And when you get that loan, it's going to be with a giant interest rate as well. So when they, when, they, when they give you a nice producer that's produced all these the Sublime's album or Slightly Stupid's album, you're like, oh, my God, we're going to get all this. You know, that guy comes at a phenomenal rate. <laughs> and so when, you, when they give you all this top studio, they give you everything to record out, all this is coming at a rate that's going to you have to pay back, you know. And if your album flops, then you're into them for a lot of money. And then, you know, when they've done all this promotion to make you look big, you're going to have to back that up with, like, a tour bus and, like, big venues. And the whole thing is just, my whole point is that it, you're into a lot of money. And if it, and to make all that money back, you have to have a gold album or a couple, few gold albums. And that's all great and fine if that's what you want to pursue. But I, like I said, my, my advice is to just do it yourself and try and pursue it yourself, and you get to keep 100% of the money yourself. And, uh, you know, you might not have the press that they have. and But like I said, it doesn't matter it, <laughs> the press that you're getting because it's coming at a cost. It's You know what I'm saying? it's Nobody gets a free credit card, you know. Yeah, man, exactly. And if you, uh, the, the cream always rises to the top, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a saying, and it's a saying for, for a reason. So I believe in that, you know. Um, it might not be to what you think is the top sometimes i have to tell myself that you know like i've been doing this for 20 years and i'm not at the level of some of these other people that mm -hmm. are in the game but at the same time i don't have a team of You're 20 dudes that yeah. i have to pay i don't have i i'm just raising yourself. my family my kids yeah. are all three taken care of everything's fine and that's all just from reggae music you know so i have to just give thanks for what i have yes so. uh, one love <laughs> yeah I love thank it. you thank you yes i uh, keep it up jaw works um, what is one of your most memorable experiences you've had on stage? Uh, phew, dude, so many good times. This is like, especially in the last five or six years of really being able to tour and uh, um, have fun with all these different bands. You know, like going out on tour with uh, Fortunate Youth a couple of times. Those guys are crazy every single time, man. They bring those giant joints up on the <laughs> stage and the crowd's just raging. I don't know. I couldn't say. I'd have to sit here and like really try and think. Oh, you know what? I can think of something that's really funny. Uh, we just did that uh, show at uh, Cornerstone Berkeley a few years, a couple years ago, and 
we had one of those giant joints, <laughs> and someone threw it back up onto the stage towards Gilly, and uh, he was like up on the up on the speaker, like with his foot, you know, like this, and the joint came right at him and just went boom, and the, the microphone just went just flew right out of his hand, and he didn't even hardly notice it, and was like still rapping and looked down, he's like, "Where's my mic, dude?" It's on the ground. That's so, funny. Yeah, that was funny. So that was a funny one. That's awesome. We actually have that on video, and we rewind it and watch it back all the time. So. <laughs> I'm sure someone's got it out there. You oh, know, yeah. You just got to share it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> so what was it like hopping on the Cali Roots rhythm, you know, making your new song, Use My Mind? Uh, that's good. That's actually um, an old song I wrote in uh, 2005. And uh, I just was just like, uh, whenever they sent me the rhythm, and so the second I heard it, I was like, oh, that sounds just like I want to touch that old song again. Exactly. And... Uh, Back to Bob Marley. Bob Marley uh, relicked so many of his old tunes from the Whalers from the '60s. I don't know if you knew that. You know, like uh, a but like Natural Mystic was an old Whalers tune. Like there's a like all stir it up. You know, was uh, that he just relicked and did him slow style reggae. You exactly. know, for his albums, and uh, so sometimes I kind of feel like that. <laughs> I'm like I, I I hear my old songs and I'm like man I kind of want to redo that. So when they sent me that rhythm, I was like, this is a perfect opportunity to relick one of these old songs. That's awesome. Yeah, and uh, the words came in perfectly for, like, right now. Yeah. And perfectly on the rhythm, you just heard it and got inspired. That's yeah, man. Song. Yeah. So what would you say are some things you like to do to stay inspired? Um, I just, uh, gosh, you know, staying up with the way things are, the ways of the world, you know, just um, blazing and being in love and... Um, yeah, trying to keep a positive outlook on things, you know, and also right. realizing what is <laughs> driving at me at the same time, you know, and how to address that. Yeah. I love that. Is there anyone um you would like to sh shout out that has helped you throughout your whole career? My wife. <laughs> my wife, my kids. Sad. Yeah, they've done everything. Like I said, I, we, I've, this is, rock. yeah, this is, uh. <laughs> I have no uh, nobody that does this for me, you know. So it's just me by myself for the last 20 years, and my yes. wife helping me, man. So she's like the silent partner that nobody sees, but does everything. Perfect family. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Since we're real sensi, we gotta ask, what is your favorite strain, and how do you like to smoke it? Um, like I said, uh, diesel, man. I've always been a diesel guy. As back back in the day, I even had a shirt that was like I had a picture of a. Uh, what the hell they called like a big truck and it said sour diesel <laughs> and uh well, anyways i'm a nerd but yeah i love that uh, any kind of just that that powerful punch of diesel smells yes, I, dope yeah sour diesel goes hard yeah all righty thank you so much for coming out we really appreciate it yeah make no sure problem. you guys go check out his new album out now the cali roots rhythm you guys already know check everything out follow him on all social medias and yeah he's got some shows coming up so stay tuned yeah thank yeah. you guys bless up